Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. Just about ready to go, and starting in this one, Gerald Hayden. Singy, he was seriously electric last time out. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. Okay, all set to go. Here's Trey Turner. The shortstop. Trey Turner. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And this one is oh, off and running. This one popped up, drifts towards it, puts it away for the out, and a quick out number one. Batting second, the left fielder, Brandon. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's hitting for that pop, came out of the gates really strong. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. One out, base is empty. Here's a 1 1. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now, here is Harper. There's a strike. Two outs. Pitches in there. 0-2 now. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. You're dialed into the show. Man at first. And next is the designated, the designated hitter, hitter, Gerald Hayden. Gerald Hayden. <laughs> Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Bogarts, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score and the Padres take the lead. one nothing. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy. But that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't. And this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row. Man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants Maddie to mess Moore. it up. The One out, man. runner at second. Manny, Manny Machado, the next Machado. up for the Padres. The pitch. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Ian Happ up to him. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Bounce to the left side. Turner with the throw to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres one and the Phillies nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And now here's the veteran DH, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Schwarber measures six feet even, 230 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. The wind of the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And yeah, the right hater deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Registers the punch out and hits 101. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. And now it is JT Real Muto. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. That one at triple digits. One down, Phillies down a run. Center field. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. That is good. The third baseman. Alec. And now it's Alec Bohm. Hey, like a can up there. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They're down 1-0. Back here in San Diego, on to the third inning. The Here's the second baseman, baseman Bryson right Stock. Stop. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Left hand hitter waits. Out to short, Kim. Now the throw to first on the run. One up, one down. Oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw, 
but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. Johan Rojas will hit next. And there's the strike. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-2. The Padres leading by a run here in game one of this three-game set. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, Clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. The pitch. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0-2. Kicks and fires. And they'll do it again. The 0-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The Padres up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Phillies are set down in order. Nine straight retired here to start the game. It's the Padres one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Turner now. The shortstop. Trey. The right-hander back to work. Hey, partner, back in 2023, Turner homered off the same pitcher twice in the same inning. Only a few players have ever done it, and his were against his former team, the Washington Nationals. Bunting for a hit, and that's just foul. Kicks and deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Every team has a hitters meeting pregame. But this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Righty to the plate. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Bryce Harper to the plate. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And first offering is fouled off. 
Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Two outs. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Down quickly, go to Phillies. They still trail one nothing. Back here at Petco Park, bottom of the inning, stepping in for San Diego, Gerald Hayden. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. And here it comes. Rip towards third. Boom. Rose on to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the lead off. And we're back. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The designated hitter. Kyle. Back to work. That one finds the zone. 0-1. You know, these Phils just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean... This guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Real Muto in the box now. No balls and a strike. There's the strike. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The Phils hitless so far in the game. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Boom. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And a strike. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Two down, nobody on. Goes down looking. Phillies down in order. And it remains 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. This is Bryson Stott. The second baseman. Bryson Stott. Hey, back to work. Strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys. They'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes a pinch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there at the knees for a strike. Oh. 
Base is empty one away. And we're the top half of the sixth. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty delivers. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, he really filled up the strike zone and that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not dancing around the strike zone. They want to attack. And so you kind of get into swing mode and you have to protect the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. Stubbs in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Outside low and now it's even one and one. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals the LA Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs, base is empty. Just misses. And the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Fights it off, you'll see another. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So he's perfect through six. It's the Padres one and the Phillies nothing. Come on, feel something right here. Let it fly. Now that the designated hitter, Gerald Hayden. Let it fly now. On the ground, two ball. Over to stop for one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. Back here in San Diego, we go to the top of the seventh, and the batter will be the shortstop, Trey Turner. The wind and the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run.
the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Got him swinging. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. And a foul ball. Next offering is down low. The Phillies still looking for their first hit in this one. Got it by him for the K. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here's Harper now. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail it here 2-0. Ready to begin the eighth, and here is Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Going around. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Misses outside, and it's two and one. And a pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. And he deals. Got him split you. Some high keys for strike three. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. JT Real Muto steps in. Still a ways to go, but this is can't-miss stuff right now. And that's in there at the knees. Here comes the 1 Swing and a miss. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth.
and he'll chew. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Boom. At the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. These hitters have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches. See if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. So now 24 have been set down in order. Three left to go for perfection. It's the Padres two, and the Phillies nothing. Man at first. Now it's going to be Gerald Hayden. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Right handed reliever. And a rope into center field base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. You we'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's Manny Machado now. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. 0 and 2 now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Bogarts around third. Fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Ian Hatt, the, the next Number up for the eight. Padres. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. And a pitch to first, maybe a two ball. Over to Turner for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Now for me, that's one of the right toughest field. double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. In the air, left field. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Gerald Hayden, perfect so far. We'll see if he can make history as we head to the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Phillies, Bryson Stock. And all eyes on the mound as he begins the ninth inning, working on a perfect game. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. And there's the strike. Two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really oh, nice pitch right there ball. and had him out in front of over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. And first offering is fouled off. The Phils down by four here at the top of the night. One down, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. The high heat, too much on that one. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now it's the right fielder, Garrett Stubbs. And this is it. One out away from perfection. In there, and it's on one. The Padres leading by four here in game one of this three-game set. Ground ball, and this should do it. Fires the first on the run, and history! It's a perfect game! Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.